A river of fresh currency flows from the presses each day, yet its purpose is not to create new wealth. It is a torrent of replacement, a constant battle against the ravages of time. Every single day, more than $541 million in new cash is struck in the United States. This staggering figure might suggest a rapidly expanding money supply, but the reality is far more practical. The vast majority of these bills are simply replacing old notes that have become torn, faded, or too worn from their journey through countless hands. The creation of a single dollar bill is a symphony of advanced technology, proprietary materials, and dozens of hidden security features. It is an operation where the margin for error is virtually non-existent. From the raw fibers to the final stroke of ink, the entire process demands a level of precision that rivals the manufacturing of aircraft components. This currency is not just for domestic use. In fact, six out of every 10 bills will find their way abroad, circulating through banks in the Middle East or night markets in Africa. That $100 bill tucked away in a wallet may have once rested in a Dubai safe or changed hands at a remote Kenyan gas station. Among the various denominations, one note holds a special place in American culture. The $2 bill, often seen as a symbol of good luck, remains a cherished favorite for many. But beyond its symbolic meaning, the US dollar is distinguished by its exceptional physical quality. While most nations print their currency on cotton paper, polymer, or blended fabrics, the United States stands alone. Its bills are crafted from a unique mixture of 75% cotton and 25% linen, a proprietary blend sourced from the world's only supplier. This specific composition grants the currency remarkable durability, making it resistant to tearing and wrinkling and allowing it to endure decades of circulation. It is a work of art designed not for a gallery, but for a global battlefield of trust. Long before the press's role, the process begins with a design where every line of ink conceals an entire security system. At the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, or BEP, artists and engineers meticulously compose each element. They integrate the presidential portrait, the phrase, in God we trust, and complex geometric patterns, carefully leaving blank spaces for watermarks and security threads. Each denomination features a unique design, its sophistication matched to its circulation frequency and security needs. It even raises the question of which face might one day grace a revived $500 bill. From these initial sketches, the team generates high-resolution laser engravings, preparing for the complex printing techniques that lie ahead. Most importantly, they choreograph the placement of security layers. This ensures that even among millions of identical bills, each one can be verified through physical, optical, and sensor-based methods. Its value is printed, but its strength is woven from a material far more resilient than wood pulp. United States dollar bills are not made from ordinary paper. Their very fabric is composed of cotton fibers, a premium material typically reserved for high-end textiles. To produce this special fiber, farms across southern states like Texas and Georgia cultivate a dedicated cotton variety, prized for its exceptional whiteness and durability. During the harvest, Massive cotton pickers, equipped with rotating spindles and metal grip bars, sweep the raw material from the fields. Although this crop may look like textile-grade cotton, the standards for currency production are immensely stricter. Only the longest, strongest, and most uniformly colored fibers are selected, with no seeds, oils, or organic debris permitted. The harvested cotton is then transported to a processing plant where a fully automated operation takes over. First, protective plastic wrapping is removed and the raw cotton enters the production line. Rotary machines armed with cone-like teeth begin to loosen the fibers, shaking free coarse debris like dry leaves, twigs, and soil. The material then undergoes a pre-cleaning stage where compressed air and vibration work to separate out fine dust and seed shells. A gin machine follows, its purpose to meticulously isolate the pure fibers from any remaining seeds. After several final filtration steps, this high-grade cotton is powerfully compressed into 220 kilogram bales. Each bale is labeled for traceability and shipped to the paper mills, now ready for the next stage of its transformation. A simple plant rooted in foreign soil holds the secret to the dollar's resilience. While cotton flourishes across the American landscape, 
Flax demands a different environment, the cool, consistently damp air found in parts of Europe. This is why the journey of the dollar bill begins overseas in the historic flax fields of France and Belgium, where this ancient craft has been perfected for centuries. Harvesting is a delicate operation. Instead of cutting the stalks, specialized machines pull them whole from the earth, a crucial step to protect the full length of each precious fiber. Once uprooted, the stalks, measuring nearly one meter long, are carefully arranged in parallel rows to dry across the fields. After several weeks, immense baling machines sweep through, rolling the flax into massive cylindrical bundles, each weighing around 300 kilograms. From here, the flax embarks on a complex journey of transformation, a process to isolate only the most ideal fibers for banknote paper. Left to the elements, the flax undergoes a natural decomposition known as redding. For two to four weeks, moisture and microbes work to gently loosen the valuable fibers from the plant's woody core. The dried stalks are then fed into machines that methodically crush and break them apart. This mechanical process shatters the inner woody stem, preserving only the longest, widest, and most robust strands of fiber. Because these fibers are remarkably delicate, every stage is meticulously monitored for both moisture content and applied pressure. Finally purified, the raw flax is compressed into dense bales and shipped to the paper mill. There, it is blended with cotton, creating the unique and durable substrate of United States dollar bills. It feels like fabric, yet it is paper. Its journey begins not with wood pulp, but with humble bales of cotton and linen. Upon their arrival, these raw materials embark on a transformation to create the planet's most unique paper. The long, white fibers are first purified with hot steam, chopped into shorter lengths, and then blended with pure water inside enormous vats, forming a thick, pulpy slurry. Into this mixture, tiny red and blue security fibers are scattered at random. This embeds an invisible layer of protection, a unique signature that ordinary printing methods simply cannot replicate. The slurry is then carefully poured onto a moving screen where it is pressed into a thin, continuous web. As it dries, the paper is formed into large sheets, each one already imprinted with hidden watermarks, security threads, and other precise technical features. The paper undergoes further drying and compression before being wound into massive rolls, ready for shipment to the U.S. Bureau of Engraving and Printing. This is a proprietary security paper, a material so exclusive it is never sold on the open market. Only a single company, Crane Currency in Massachusetts, holds the government contract authorizing its production, making them the sole guardians of this foundational material. Before a single note is printed, metal must yield to the artist's touch. Here in silence, the face of a nation takes form. The journey of a dollar bill begins not with paper, but with the meticulous art of steel engraving, a process performed under contract with the United States government. Within the quiet rooms of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, artisans lean over polished steel plates. With a pantograph pen in hand, they painstakingly carve every minute detail into the metal, from the subtle wrinkles on Franklin's forehead to the microscopic lines of the decorative patterns. Once this master plate is complete, it receives a durable chrome plating. This hardened shell is essential for it to endure the immense pressures of the intaglio printing presses but a single plate is not nearly enough. From here, the master engraving is moved to a serography system where its every feature is replicated with such flawless precision that the duplicates are indistinguishable to the naked eye. The process continues as each new plate is coated in a special light-sensitive resist and placed inside an exposure unit. Ultraviolet light then shines through a design film, penetrating the delicate coating. After a rinse with high-pressure water, the hidden image slowly begins to emerge on the steel surface. The plate is then submerged in an electroplating tank, where electric currents etch away the exposed areas, carving ultra-fine grooves into the metal. The result is hundreds of perfectly identical steel printing plates, each one now ready to enter the next stage of currency production. It begins as a whisper of color, a foundation unseen but essential. While the steel plates are readied for their forceful impression, a parallel process lays down the banknote's first visual layer through offset printing. This initial pass applies soft colored backgrounds, intricate guilloche patterns, 
in decorative frames. High-speed machines work in concert, printing both sides of the cotton linen paper simultaneously with specialized inks. The ink is first transferred from a printing plate to a supple rubber blanket, which then presses the image onto the paper surface. This method ensures perfectly even coverage and razor-sharp detail. This foundational treatment is reserved for denominations of $2 and above. The $1 bill bypasses this step entirely, which is why it feels noticeably different to the touch. Offset printing does more than just create the first visible design. It establishes the entire bill's color tone and visual architecture. Each denomination is given its own unique color scheme and background motifs, which helps with quick identification and aids automated authenticity checks. Once the background printing is finished, the sheets are carefully dried and pressed into stacks, now ready for the intaglio stage. Master steel plates, originating from hand-engraved works of art and later mass-replicated, are mounted onto specialized presses. Here, the cotton linen paper is fed between cylinders that exert several tons of pressure. This immense force drives ink from the microscopic recesses of the steel plates onto the paper in a unique upward motion. It is this intense pressure that sculpts the raised ink surfaces, creating textures you can physically feel with your fingertips on a genuine bill. With the background and texture complete, a modern security feature is introduced, optically variable ink, or OVI. Appearing only on denominations of $10 and higher, it remains one of the most visible anti-counterfeiting measures. This special ink is engineered to change color depending on the viewing angle. The numeral 100 on a $100 bill, for instance, shifts from a warm copper to a cool green with just a slight tilt. The secret to this effect lies in a multi-layer technology containing microscopic crystals that reflect light in specific directions. Only a handful of countries and authorized suppliers can produce this advanced material, and its application is strictly controlled by the United States. The printing of this color-shifting ink occurs in a separate stage entirely, on a dedicated offset press distinct from both the background and intaglio work. After the background, raised texture, and color shifting effects are in place, the US dollar is secured with an almost invisible layer of microprinting. This technology involves engraving incredibly small text into various elements of the bill's design. On the $100 bill, the phrase the United States of America is etched into Benjamin Franklin's collar while tiny letters spelling USA are hidden just below the portrait. So small, they are clear only under magnification. To the untrained eye, these characters might seem like simple, decorative details. For experts in currency scanners, however, they are among the first checkpoints used to authenticate a bill. These minute features are printed using highly specialized inks and precision engraved plates, adding another layer of complexity for counterfeiters to overcome. Even now, each dollar bill is not yet complete. It needs one final step to establish its unique identity. In this phase, a specialized printing system applies two identical serial numbers to the front of every note, ensuring no two bills ever share the same combination. The ink used is typically dark green or black, depending on the denomination and series year, and may contain its own anti-counterfeit properties. At the same time, two official seals are printed, one from the U.S., Department of the Treasury and the other from the Federal Reserve Bank that issued the note. Before it can enter the world as currency, each note must face its final judgment. This rigorous process involves both machines and human oversight as high-resolution optical sensors scan the entire surface of every bill. The system hunts for issues ranging from color misalignment and ink smudges to distorted images or mismatched serial numbers. Within milliseconds, it automatically verifies even the smallest details, like the raised intaglio lines or the properties of color-shifting ink. Any bill with a detected flaw is immediately rejected and sent to a separate recycling area. To complete the check, a team of human inspectors randomly selects bundles for manual review, ensuring the system functions accurately and that no subtle errors slip through. A single sheet holds a small fortune, yet it remains worthless until the final, precise cut is made. Having cleared the most rigorous quality inspections, the currency advances to the last stage of its creation, cutting and packaging. Each large sheet, bearing 32 complete bills, is guided into an ultra-precise cutting system. With mechanical certainty, the machine slices them into individual notes, 
each one measuring exactly 6.14 by 2.61 inches. The blades themselves are marvels of engineering, designed for exceptional sharpness and longevity. Their accuracy constantly monitored and replaced on a strict schedule. Once separated, the fresh notes are gathered into stacks of 100. These stacks are then bundled into bricks of 1,000 and gently pressed, a final touch to guarantee their uniform flatness. Every bundle is meticulously counted and labeled with a batch code, its production date, denomination, and storage details. This crucial information is then digitized, creating a permanent record for auditing and complete traceability. From the packaging floor, the new currency is transferred into the silent confines of an internal, secure vault. Access to this sanctum is granted to only a handful of authorized personnel, with every entry and exit logged through biometric scanners and watched by constant video surveillance. From this vault, the money begins its journey, distributed among the 12 Federal Reserve Banks across the United States based on the specific demand of each region. The issuance of money is far more than a technical procedure. It is a tightly controlled exercise of financial authority. Each note that leaves this facility carries with it the weight of national trust, the power of legal backing, and the echo of historical identity. It is fragile enough to tear, yet strong enough to carry the weight of an entire economy. The creation of a single dollar bill is a delicate dance between meticulous engineering and the subtle art of engraving, a process designed to weave the very concept of national trust into each and every fiber. Its journey begins in the unassuming fields of cotton and flax, then moves into the guarded walls of top secret printing facilities. Here, each bill endures dozens of exacting control points, a gauntlet of scrutiny that guarantees its integrity and historical identity. By the time one of these notes arrives in your hands, it has become far more than a simple tool for exchange. It is a tangible piece of history, a marvel of modern technology, and a direct conduit to financial power.